Today I want to show you how to take the muzzle brake off the Barrett M82 and M107. I'm going to be taking it off and fitting a suppressor uh, to the gun. It's the start of a suppressor. What you first do is loosen these two screws. And there's washers that actually set into the barrel in between. A lot of pe people commonly put the washer underneath the, the screw. That's not the correct place. These actually keep the, uh, the, uh, muzzle brake in time. You tip it like this and hit it and it'll start unlocking the muzzle brake. Now the muzzle brake will simply come off. And behind the muzzle brake you'll find these shims which keep it in time. So you want to keep those make sure those don't fall off and now I'm going to screw this on so that I can mark the timing for the suppressor and we're getting the suppressors for these through Elite Iron and you can go to their website to check out any questions you have on that they need to know where top dead center is And it's pretty easy on a Barrett because it has a flute that's actually machined in top dead center. So now I'll take that off. And basically, don't forget to, it's, it's real simple, you just don't want to forget to replace your shim. Screw your muzzle brake back on. And you, I should show you, right here, there's actually grooves into the barrel. Right here you can see it. it there's a slot where these washers will fit. They actually set right into there to time it properly. So when we screw it back together, the slots don't quite line up. As you can see there, this slot is down a little bit from the barrel slot. So what we do is we put this back on here like this. And now you can see they're back lined up. And I can't stress enough, the washers go there like that. Not on top where everybody would think like that. 